In chemistry, there are seven major diatomic elements. Di, that means two. So each one of these, there are two of them. And then atoms, atomic. So we have two atoms in each of these seven major diatomic elements. These seven are found as gases at room temperature and pressure. So we have our seven diatomic elements, which are gases here. The way to remember it is have no fear of ice cold beer. So we have H, that's our H2. N, that's our N2, and so on. For cold, C and L, that's our Cl2. And then B and R, that's our Br2. What this means is when you have a chemical reaction, say Mg plus oxygen gives us MgO. This isn't going to be just O. It's going to be O2. Magnesium plus oxygen yields magnesium oxide. When we look at the MgO, because this is a chemical bond, it doesn't have to have a 2 after it. That's because oxygen, that has a 2 minus ionic charge. Magnesium has a 2 plus. So these cancel out. They give us a net charge of 0. That's why it's MgO. But if you have just oxygen by itself, it's always going to be O2. Let's look at another one. If we had Na plus Cl, it wouldn't just be Cl. It would be Cl2, and that would give us Na. Cl. Chlorine forms ions with a 1 minus charge. Sodium, group 1 on the periodic table, 1 plus. So you can see the charges add up to 0. So it's NaCl. But the Cl here can't be by itself. It's diatomic. Note also, this equation isn't balanced. We have two chlorines here. So we could put a 2 in front of the NaCl. Now we have two Na's. There we go. So two Na's, two Cl's, two Na's, two Cl's. So it's balanced. Note we also have monatomic elements, like helium. That'll always just be He. It's a noble gas. Argon, another noble gas. So these are monatomic. But the ones that we see quite often are these diatomic gases because they're very reactive. So again, have no fear of ice-cold beer. That's a great way to remember the seven diatomic elements that you'll see quite often in chemistry. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.